Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Another keto recipe, pasta. Yeah, you can make pasta without carbs. Hello, in this video I'm going to be attempting to make a low carb or keto pasta. Um, this is a recipe that I have seen from a channel called I Don't Sugarcoat wonderful American lady and it looks like she's been losing serious amounts of weight and she's fully involved in the whole ketogenic thing. So I'm going to try this out. It's using a couple of different flours. There's lupin flour and there's vital wheat gluten which is the gluten extracted from the wheat but without the carbs. Anyway, so some miracle is going to happen and I'm going to have pasta without the carbs. I really hope that this is the first time I'm trying this recipe. So. If you're watching this, it means it worked, so that's good. Anyway, and I think you're going to really like this video. All right, so the full recipe will be in the description, but that was lupin flour, and that was vital wheat gluten, a bit of salt. I halved the salt from the recipe that I found, and that was xantham gum. So some unusual ingredients, I admit, and they're not cheap, but, you know, if you want to make this stuff, if you're doing low carb, then you will do it. And this is where I'm a total pleb. Uh, my battery ran out of my, uh, my camera and so you missed me adding the egg and the water and the oil to the flowers and mixing it for about a minute but you know you can assume that I did that and it worked all right so I had the paddle attachment in there by all means you could just do all of this by hand on your work surface but I wanted to save myself the effort and then after a couple of minutes I just changed the paddle for the dough hook give that about somewhere between five and ten minutes and we got a dough. Look, that's a dough. It's a little bit tacky, a little bit more tacky than I wanted it to be. So there we go. That's the bag with the lupin flour in it, which doesn't have carbohydrates in it. And uh, it's quite bitter, though, if you use too much of it, apparently. And uh, just sort of knead that for a little while. And I mean, to be honest with you, that really does look like a pasta dough. I've made lots of pasta doughs in my life and I've made them on this channel. And, you know, it's so far, so good. Uh, using more flour. And again, it is quite tacky, so just just keep it well floured. And I'm going to roll it a bit to start off with. And I'm going to try to treat this exactly as if it was a regular pasta dough using either a double zero or a, like a bread flour. So I like to brush off some of the excess, give it like a business letter fold, fold it over, Give it a bit of roll out that way again, but you know, turn it 90 degrees basically. Give it a roll again, and what this will do when you're making regular pasta is you're building up sort of more layers of uh, the networks of the glutens, forming more strength, more elasticity, and you get that lovely sort of toothsomeness to your pasta, which is what we're after. Can we do it without the regular flour? I don't know. We're experimental, and as I said in the intro, this is the first time I have ever tried this. I thought, well, you know, why not do it on video for the world to see, or for a few hundred people to see, probably. So, through my pasta attachment, my rolling attachment on my KitchenAid, and if you haven't got one of these, you can get a couple of bits of parchment and a rolling pin, and you will be able to roll this thing out. It just take a bit more work. But I could feel it was tacky, so more flour, and you're going to find that you're going to have to keep this very well floured, I would say, this recipe the whole time. Here we go. Adding more and more flour as we go along, as we work our way down through the notches. So if you have a past the rolling attachment, mine goes down to the finest setting of eight. I went down to six, but each time I would go through each setting at least two times. And we can see that we are creating what looks like I mean, it looks exactly like a normal pasta. It's behaving itself. Look, nice long sheet of pasta. Fantastic. So a bit more flour down. I'm going to lay that out because I've got more pasta to roll out. So a bit more of the old uh, flour, lupin flour on top of that. And I thought I'll cover it with cling film because I don't want it to get too dry. I don't want it to get all, you know, cracking and stuff like that. So look, there's a close-up look of it. It looks stunning. It, honestly, at this stage, I'm thinking this is looking fantastic. We are going to be having pasta every day, love, he says to his missus, and uh, you know, and he gets carried away. But there we go. So it's a bit long, 
cut those in half so we can manage them because uh, the other thing as well is if you are making noodles like linguine or fettuccine or whatever you don't want them to be too long so that's a, a really good length and there we go through my either tagliatelle or fettuccine attachment I don't know what you call it it seems the same to me and I'm just building mine into little nests if you have one of those little tree things you can dry this out it might be better but I'm cooking mine from fresh so hot salted water three minutes that would usually be how I would do this for a fresh pasta but I'm trying it and it's like oh it's a bit soft so into the ragu that I've made I'll share a link to a ragu video shall I a little bit of the pasta water in there because that is traditional give that a little flip and this is looking stunning I'm very happy so far this looks great and uh, I don't really know how to present pasta any other way so what we're going to do is start off trying to make it look a bit fancy and then just go ah just get it in the bowl and then I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting Keto pasta. Is it? Is it nice? Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. <clears throat> Obviously, the ragu tastes really nice as well. Mm. Is it the same as pasta? No. No, it feels softer. Um, but perhaps if I try again, perhaps I, I put the cooking time for three minutes, thinking that was, you know, maybe not enough. Um, perhaps two minutes would have been absolutely spot on so it's definitely worth having a go and if you are you know, if you're struggling to come up with ideas things to, to remove carbs from your diet and you know you just really fancy some good old bowl of pasta with a ragu this is great it's really nice and it wasn't really any more fuss than making your own pasta it was exactly the same really so um, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, while you're here, if you don't mind, please, if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like, let YouTube know uh, that it's not such a bad channel after all. You can comment, and sharing is apparently the most way of showing that you care. So any of those things, I'll be really, really grateful to you. And I'll catch you in the next video coming pretty soon. Bye.